Often as you are developing a workbook, you will want to make certain areas of your data stand out. One way that you can make an area stand out is to border the data. You can apply a border to any rectangular selection, be that a column or a group of columns, or a row or a group of rows, or individual cell or a group of individual cells. As long as you indicate to Excel what you want to be bordered, you can then go ahead and border that selection. You'll find the border command up here in your ribbon on the Home tab in the font group. Here you have the border command. Notice that there's an arrow to the right of the border command. If you select that arrow, it will cause a menu to display with some preset borders that you can choose from. Notice that farther down on this menu, you can actually draw your own borders and indicate a line color as well as a line style for the border that you are drawing. And then at the very bottom of this menu, you have more borders. And this will allow you to open up a dialog box and create your own custom borders. Let me go ahead and demonstrate how to apply one of the preset borders through the border command. So let's say I wanted to put a border around sales by product. I'll go ahead and select this cell and then I'll come up here to my borders command, select the down arrow and then choose the style that I want. I want to put an outside border around this selection so I'll choose outside border and now when I click away notice that I have bordered the title of the spreadsheet. If I would like to go ahead and border my entire data area, I'll go ahead and again select that. And now notice that up here on my border button, the choice that I have for the default button at this time is outside borders. This button will display whatever your last border choice was. In this case, this is exactly what I want again, so I'll go ahead and just click the button. And now when I click away, notice that my data has been bordered all around that area. Now I can also draw borders and let me go ahead and demonstrate that. Again I'll come up here to my border button, select the down arrow, pull down to the draw borders area of the menu and choose draw border. I'll go ahead and come back in here and then click and drag and draw a border. Notice that it automatically places the border along the line that I drew. I can do that vertically as well as horizontally. Now, if you wanted to create your own custom border, you can do that as well through the border command. Notice I'll come up here and select the down arrow, pull all the way down to the bottom of my menu to more borders. This will open up the format cells dialog box with the border tab active. Now I can choose the style that I'd like to use. Let's say maybe I'd like to use a dashed version and I can choose the color that I'd like. As well as over here in the preview, I can set up whether I want it to be horizontally on both top and the bottom or to surround the entire box with this blue dashed line. If I wanted to take away any of these, I simply need to select the one I would like to delete. You can change your color to a new color and apply it. And then when you say OK, you'll see that whatever cell you had selected now has that new border applied to it. Let's go ahead and apply a border to our product list. Open or make active your product list workbook that you used in the last movie. This again is the clean version that we started in this chapter, chapter 7. Or if you'd like to open up a new start file, go ahead and open up 0704 start file. And when you select that, go ahead and then select your menu tab. Let's go ahead and add a border around the Raspberry Brigade menu. So we'll select that cell and come up here to our borders command, select the drop down arrow and let's go ahead and put an outside border around the title of our menu. Now let's go ahead and border our column headers. So go ahead and highlight the column headers and again let's go ahead and choose outside borders just the button this time. It is reflecting our last border choice and now we have a border around that information. And then finally let's go ahead and border all of the food products. So we'll go ahead and select all of them and then again instead of choosing the outside border let's put a thicker border around it, the thick box border. We'll go ahead and set that up. Things are shaping up here and let's do the same down here to gifts and souvenirs. So go ahead and select cells A29 
through D29 and go ahead and apply an outside border and then select cells A30 all the way down to D34 and go ahead and add a thicker outside box border. And there is our menu shaping up quite nicely and go ahead and save your file and let's move on to the next movie.